shit what up youtube it's nice ain't back with another video uh this video gonna be about how well i guess my mistakes and i guess where i came up short in with my spiritual like journey or just many mistakes or common mistakes i think that a lot of people would make in their journey and just trying to spiritually evolve uh like i said i'm not about to waste no time i'm about to get straight to it uh i think one mistake i make is like i said i think a lot of people may make it just hopping from thing to thing uh, I know personally that I want to get in tune with just nature and just be in nature more and just be able to, just to be able to get replenished by nature. But like I said, the thing about me is I'm I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place with learning just like just magic, sigil magic, uh, learning some like some of the weekend stuff, uh, some things in terms of just like the altar work and just uh lucid dream and astral projection there's all these many sections that go into their own little concepts and deep dives i'm very like my mom so i spread myself thin in that area so i'm very much always looking at 20 different things at once and like i said i think as a reason i've been trying to take this time to really focus on one thing or a couple like maybe like three things at once and not really go into deep with other concepts uh yeah that's one mistake i make i think one another mistake i make is i think that people have like low expectations and not low expectations but high expectations but they don't want to do the work in many cases like i've been doing back and forth i've been very back and forth with spiritual work for the past couple of years i've been in high school but now it's like the time i'm really taking it serious and like trying to develop it into a practice where i consistently do it and i'm not really backing out every two seconds just because it's more about my consistency like I said, it's not really about motivation. It's more about, like I said, it's me doing it regardless of the fact. Uh, I wasn't raised very disciplined. So like I said, it was very hard for me to ever stay, stick to something that's, stick to like just my spiritual practices. Like just period with anything, really. It always been my fault. Well, in that sense, it's not just not being able to follow a straight path that I set for myself and just seeing where that path goes. I think that's just regular advice that I need, period, with just my direction and just knowing where I'm going and, how I'm gonna get there and what I'm gonna do. So, and that's one way that I think that I make a mistake in my spiritual journey is, like I said, my indecisiveness is probably like one of my main weaknesses. And it's the fact I gotta understand that I need to be more decisive and just stick, shoot something and stick to it and have a plan going through, following through with it. I think that's the common thing, like I said, because let's say like a ritual don't work with just, just working, trying to trying to do something for a reaction like i said and like i said i stopped on the first try it's like i think it was a quote that's that yoda said it was about like a what's the difference between like a master and a beginner and a master has tried more times than the beginner has failed and i think that's something that resonated with me a lot like i said it's just with life period i very like i said i try something once now i give up on it and like i said and that's probably where a lot of my fails and life come from like i said i just i'm very i give up on things a lot easier i think this is how i am with well, how i was with life like i said i don't really afford to do it no more now just because like i said i'm really in this i'm in the space where i'm tired of really going in circles and i really just want to make progress forward so i'm slowly but surely getting my mind getting my mindset out of that lower type of thinking but okay i said the direction oh yeah fear Fear is a lot of things that people have. Like I said, I think that's just a natural thing that, like I said, people have is because, like I said, look at the world we live in. I know like, a regular fear that I have just naturally. Like I said, I don't fear that I'm going to die, but I, I fear people. I think I fear people seeing me for who I am and seeing me at, at my pure self. And I think that's probably where, like I said, that's, only, that's the only way I can ever be liberated from myself is that. Um, I'm, 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 I'm stuck to fear. I, I fear that people, I fear that people gonna judge me. I fear that I'm, I got fear of rejection. I got fear in my own heart. I got, I doubt myself, knowing I shouldn't be doubting myself. And slowly but surely, it is going away. But like I said, I know that I could feel that I have been developing some type of confidence. But like I said, I still have a lot of doubt and fear in my heart. Uh, I'm very, I'm a Star Wars fan. So like I said, I'm very much into what goes on in the star wars and just what yoda like i pay attention to what yoda says a lot because like i said a lot of yoda has a lot of wisdom 
And I think I just like Yoda as a character. He's not my favorite character, but he has a lot of wisdom with him. And a lot about like joining the dark side and not doing the dark side, but just having the dark side element about speaking about fear and attachment and just anger resonate with me a lot. So whenever I try to like, whenever I watch those movies, I tend to take good, I tend to pay good attention to it. So yeah, so take fear. Like one fear I have is also just speaking, like speaking period. Maybe like if if you actually like watch my channel, like I said, I have a I have a tendency to to start speaking fast and I start stumbling over my words. So and that caused me to have like a fear of speaking in front of people. But me personally, I feel that I know that my speaking is probably the only way that's going. That's another way. That's another avenue of liberation for me, or just for my for my spirit. Period. That's the only way I'm gonna ever evolve as Kevin until my until the next step of Kevin gets here or whenever I decide that's the new me. So, yeah, I think fear has a lot to do with it. Fear, self-doubt, lack of direction, uh, inconsistency, and one thing, and I think it just always been aware. So I, I think I, like, I always try to be on top of like what's going on in my head, what's going on in my head, but, or my, well, the world relationship with me and not my relationship with the world. So I think that's one thing I can say. I, I'm very observant, but I'm not observant with how I react to the world and how maybe how I act towards the world is very, uh, blocked off, let's say that. And I think that's probably where my journey is and my destiny is. Just, like I said, in the fear. I think people said like whatever, whatever you want is on the other side of fear. And like I said, I think once my like I said, whenever my fear subsides, like I said, the world is technically mine. And I think, and I said that in the truest, uh, in the truest way that my heart can say it is that the world is mine. I think my arrogance, my, my arrogance will come back. Not my arrogance, but my confidence will come back. I think that's one thing. It's not coming back, but it's already there. But in many ways, like I got. One thing, this venting, I think I put myself, I'm very, I tame myself a lot and I tend to just sell myself short. And for good or bad reason, that's what I do. And like I said, in many ways, I trap myself. And then, like I said, when the world starts to trap me, I feel like it's an attack on myself. And that's where, like I said, I, that's where I all really go wrong, but. Like I said, the spiritual journey is just a journey. Like I said, everybody goes on their own journey and they have to figure it out on their own. Or like I said, you know, like, of course with this, this is, you know, maybe answers to guides or whatever, but like I said, like I said, I got assistance to my guys and stuff, but I'm just, I'm just speaking out loud to like y'all in the video, but yeah. Whenever, well, not whenever, when I do that, but I am going to do it. I am going to lose my fear and my self-doubt and all these negative compounds is like really holding me back from my true self and my destiny was of course is myself i'm holding myself back but all those things are going to eventually line up and dissipate but like i said i gotta go through a lot of healing personally and i know that i'm gonna have to but yeah that's the end of the video if y'all liked it give me a thumbs up uh I'm trying to get more video uploads on here. Like I said, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm, I really want to do a lot with this channel. I don't want to be a spiritual channel. It's the only thing that's coming to my mind right now, but it's going to be a lot of cool, cool stuff on here. Like I said, like videos, like just video essays. I like them video essays, just like just analysis videos. I've always been that type of analytical, per, analytical person and I'm just very observant. So that's one thing I'm going to do. So yeah. Yeah. Thank you for watching the video. Just stay tuned. All right. Thank you for watching the video.